Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Talented, the randomized talent tree roguelite that I'm excited to be back to here today. We're going to be going back in with the archer. We got some new stuff unlocked since last time. We got some more perks for them. We have not tried out the explosive trap ability that just, you know, puts down an AoE explosion instead of the quick fire. And we are going to be on this. It says less health points, waves will contain additional enemy. Is that right? Because it says longer nights and then it says something that makes sense for that title. Do we have both of these, or waves contain additional enemy? Eh, let's just go in. We'll assume both are true. I think it's just waves have an additional enemy. But an interesting thing is we do have the ability to drop down our trap and then protect it. We can only do two a night right now. But if we're managing to, uh... Oop, if we can manage to protect it through the night, we do get to keep it. Okay, pop that down. That being said, it's looking a little bit dicey. So actually, let's pop it down and we'll, we'll just use it. How about that? No need to be greedy. Okay, we'll let the bomb uh, take out that guy. Yeah, it was it was quite helpful. Noteworthy uh, difficulty increase, for sure. Four talent points. Lorges will now appear. So we've got our completely random talent tree. We could get an attack range up. Crit chance... Let's move up this way. So we get a little bit of range, a little bit of experience gain. Reroll all nearby common and rare talents and get some talent points. Okay, so that's going to be on any class. Good to know. I kind of like the idea of getting this, which means we should have gone whoop whoop. But yeah, grabbing the attack speed here is what I want, but I also don't want to go into kind of a dead end. We'll start moving up towards where clearly there's some more stuff. Bump that speed up to 1.2. And we'll see what we can do. But yeah, more enemies. It's going to be pretty noteworthy. You know, we don't have a, a whole lot of like the itty bit of meta progress stuff that is in the game. Uh-oh. Are you going to be able to get you in time? Three hits for it. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, that amount is going to be bad. This is crazy how much more difficult this is. This is absurd like i obviously can't do this statistically i i can't do this well like i just don't have the stats for it yet so we got the talent points we're not dead at the very least we could go for the attack speed just to try and like live a little bit of range up is not bad crit up into the attack speed i'm gonna move up here i think that maybe we can maybe we can do it your attacks have a 3% chance to fire another attack in the same direction. Got the two talent points here. Sure, we'll move that way. Next night. I don't know that we necessarily got, like, exceptionally stronger. We'll see. But not having that attack speed increase and just having the AoE trap instead... It does feel like, uh, it feels a little bit worse as of right now. Maybe it won't later, but as of right now, it feels a little bit worse. All right, pop down. Pop up. All right. It's just, yeah. It's literally a, uh, a situation of we can't be, it's not like we're missing shots. So we actually can't be strong enough to uh, do this without taking damage as of right now with the amount. And the enemies get 35% more health. Interesting. Gumball collector. We have experience gain. We've got attack speed increase. Hmm. Yeah, if we go for the reroll... One, two, this is one, two, three, four, one, two, three. We, we don't have that much. A little bit of range isn't going to be that big of a deal. I'll get the attack speed and the knockback, I suppose. And then we'll get the gumball. Enemies have a 3% chance to drop a gumball candy when killed, granting you some attack speed for the night. Enemies have a 3% chance to drop a battery when killed. That is definitely something I'm interested in. Batteries will give us an extra charge in our landmine, which I think could be interesting. 
All right. But yeah, I want to I want to save the landmine for a situation where it's actually going to be more useful. Where it genuinely feels like we're going to Oh god, that health upgrade. Oh, that health upgrade is pain. Go back. Yeah. Oh, this is so bad. Please. Ha! Not even close. Crawlies will now appear. Five talent points. I mean, we'll take that. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So that randomizes. We get the five talent points. I think that's completely okay. Killing 25 enemies heals five health points. I'll take a damage upgrade. We got the Vortec Aimbot. Gain a 10% crit chance and automatically aim for five seconds. Does seem interesting. One, two, three, four. You know what? I like the stuff that I see on the way there. All right. That should be a really big increase, but... I don't know, it's almost feeling like I uh, need to have some meta progress to be on this difficulty level, or like, just that early talent tree we got is just unfortunately not too fantastic. I'm feeling a lot stronger now, though. Oh, this feels a lot better. First time I saw the, uh, the randomized arrow come out there. Not bad. also feel like the spiders are not that bad for us. The guys that take the, you know, the three hits are a little bit spookier. Man, what a close call that was. Makes me terrified to see just, like, the stat wall they put in front of you on uh, difficulty 25. <laughs> Alright, we'll take the damage increase, the chance for the battery, so we can get another... Uh, trap, which I guess I should be putting the traps out on the ground because they do stay between nights. And automatically aim. How much do I care about that? Maybe I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go in a different direction. Piercing blows are very, very good. Being able to pierce... just pierce through an enemy. We can get our kind of like standard setup stuff. The more we play, the more talents we unlock as well, so that's worth keeping in mind. If you're saying, like, oh, these seem similar to the last one. Like, well, I mean, we got a lot of stuff to unlock yet. I pop it back. So we're killing the eyeballs in two, even with, like, the health increase situation. It looked like I knocked him back without even doing damage. Is that a thing? Alright, we gotta check how much longer we have left in the night. Looks like it's not much. There we go. Just wanted to buy some time until we could put down the other mine. Things are feeling a lot better all of a sudden. Get a range up, get the piercing. I'm gonna take two damage ups, not even caring about where they bring me on the talent tree. Okay. Yeah, the last time we played this character, we didn't get a whole lot of the uh, the damage up talents. But yeah, we we'll definitely want to go towards another ability, but our attacks now pierce through enemies, doing 50% less damage when they pierce. We got a couple landmines to protect us. A little bit of candy there. We got a battery. So do I need to have used my ability to get another charge in it? That is something I don't know. Still got another... Ooh, another one in there. I'll just pop that down. If they make it, they make it. I feel like range up is definitely going to be a very useful tool for us. So that we can kill them before they get to our landmines. Enemies have a 5% increased chance to be elites. So we have an attack speed range. 
I should probably get this. Like, it seems like it's... It's worth one point. Right? Like, take it, take it for a point. Don't be stupid. This has got to bring me somewhere more interesting. Just don't really want to grab a health point and knock back a health up. Crit knock back. Like, this section. This feels like a bunch of wastes to go for the aimbot that seems maybe not as much of a waste. So I'm hoping this brings me somewhere cool. We got anything interesting up here? Not that I know of yet. Just pop down the landmine. I don't think I can control exactly where it gets placed. I wish I could. All right. So we're very protected from the side now, which is really neat. If we could just do an, like an amazing job for the beginning. Ah, oh, man. We can protect ourselves from the sides. The top and, the, and just focus more on the top and the bottom. They have less distance to cover if you're wondering why I'm just protecting the sides. It's a couple reasons. A, it makes it so it's a little bit easier to focus on that specific spot. Okay, we got another battery. If I can help it. Cool. We can focus on this specific spot and thus protect it a little bit easier in specific. What do we got? Crit strike chance is increased by 5% for 2 seconds after using an ability. Alright, fine. I'll go for this. This is an attack speed upgrade here. I don't know if I can... I don't know what it, this is. In fact, I don't even know for sure that they're linked. What's this? Charmed weapon. Stimpak, give yourself a boost, fully restoring your health and granting two damage until the end of the night. I think we could go for that. I would like to use a lot of these abilities, but like as of right now, I think that we're going to need another more interesting and aggressive ability. Thank God for my piercing, man. All right. Crit up. Is it... How do I know when I've crit? Is it that... It's like a slightly more... All right. I would love more... Uh, more battery kill things. Like, on kill spawn a battery. I'd like a couple more if I could. We're setting ourselves up for the future. And to think we almost got body. Like, right away. Thank you. Landmines. If, if, if a landmine pops, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Your next three attacks fire in all directions. That's pretty good with the crit after uh, cast. We'll grab another one. So our crit strike chance increased by 10% for two seconds. It'd be a dream if it was 10% for four seconds, like if it increased in both ways, but I kind of doubt it. After using ability... Yeah, something with a couple charges feels like a good call. What is this? Attack speed increased by 10% after using an ability. All right, I like the idea of that, hoping that we find another battery charge on the way. Just playing my first mine pretty quickly because uh, if I get, a, you know, some early battery charges, we could have a situation where you have lots of, uh, you know, Lots of charges and not a lot of time because the cooldown's pretty high. We don't have the wizard talent tree. So we don't have the ability to, you know, whoop, spam our abilities as often. We're relying on a little bit of RNG there. Don't you do it. Check the hell out of it. Look at that. 
Control 15 traps as one at once as an archer achievement. Cool. Busters appear. Knights feel longer. Six talent points. Grab the enchanted weapon. Ugh. At this point? I feel like I'm... Yeah, I avoid the section that I don't care quite as much about there. I'll get the experience upgrade. See what else we find. There's a damage upgrade on the path. Damage upgrade and knock back up. I don't care a ton about that. Okay. But we've got the enchanted weapons. So we can get increased attack speed for a little bit as well. I mean, uh, yeah. I feel pretty strong. We got ghosts now. I believe they speed up after they exist for a little bit. So you gotta, I guess, just focus on them a little bit early. Lest they speed up on you. I have a feeling we're using some landmines. Got a feeling I don't care if I use some landmines. <laughs> Look at all of them! But yeah, like, obviously if I'm scared about something from the top or bottom, I'm gonna prioritize those. Because the landmines can do some dirty work. We can spend some. They're there to help me. I'm not just trying to get the biggest landmine collection on Earth. That is a definite goal I have. But it's not the only one. Enemies gain 10% movement speed. That I hate. Increased chance of being elite. The next three attacks fire in all directions. We get another damage up here. We could go for the damage up into the attack speed up. Nothing too crazy. I think we'll just, for now, we'll just assume we'll do that. Don't hate it. So the thing is, it gives us back a charge of one of our abilities. Right? Hmm. Let's try and sit on this and see if we get... Um, if we ever get up to three. And it'll seem silly... But I just want to see if we ever get up to three on my uh, my AoE attack. We'll intentionally be kind of weak this round and not use my abilities optimally. Because I want to know if it is going to continually prioritize the landmine. Okay, it's the landmine again. I feel like it might prioritize or even maybe only can fill up one that is missing. It's really hard to say. And would I would I not cast my ability as a result? I don't know. Enemies are more frequent. Increased chance to be elite. We don't mind that as much. Attack speed damage. Another chance to fire more arrows. Another stim pack. Oh, shoot. But the same thing. It's like, do I want this? If I, if what I want is a lot of funny landmines, I, I don't think that that's the answer then. This goes off in this direction. What do we got here? More piercing blows? I'll take a piercing blow. Again? I mean, our abilities are pretty, uh, it's pretty strong. Gain 10% crit, 10% attack speed after casting, so. On top of the fact that they are, they're pretty strong already. Our landmine's doing, what, half of our damage? 
And we've gotten a decent amount of things that improve my damage. Bad time for you. Very bad time for you. We'll probably go up to 1.5 speed for a bit. Does it make it harder? It Yes, it does. I know that I attack faster as well. That doesn't mean it doesn't make it harder. Because you have less reaction time. Is, is it a big deal? No. Enemies are more frequent. Enemies gain more health. We're definitely getting the piercing blow. Shots have a chance to explode. It's weird that it doesn't let me grab this. We're going for stim pack. Stim pack seems obviously like very. The time to use it is obvious. It's when you're dying. Brutal bounty. I could. Not super wowed by it. Yeah, I think we can rock the 1.5 speed for a little bit. I don't know if there's maybe a hot key. Let's help me out. So I can change the speed in combat or not, but... Good God. The left and right are so protected, it's hilarious. During the final round, we'll probably just let them... <laughs> let them approach from there, but... Intentionally trying not to use my secondary ability. Unless I feel like I really need it. Because then we can get more landmines. Invest in our future that way. So yeah, it, it doesn't feel like it makes a whole lot of sense to even get more abilities if I'm not going to feel like I want to use them. That is very true. Increased chance of being elite. They gain 35% more health. Spark Quiver... Stim pack is it's just it's so logically usable though. It only has one charge, gives you two attack damage until the end of combat as well. So you could use it right away and be greedy. Frost trap. Now there we're talking. Nah. We're okay. Well, I'll grab the damage up, but what the hell? It looks like it's probably over here. I was thinking for sure that was connected, but no. Alright. Good, good, good. Spam, spam, spam. Approach, I dare you. But yeah, that's the thing, is if I go for traps, I kind of want the damage, like the attack damage upgrade. I just can't, I can't believe you get to keep the traps between waves. It's hilarious. I genuinely love it because every time I put down a trap and I don't use it, I'm basically killing a future enemy. So basically the stronger I am, these, these are investments, they're interest. Okay, Queen's now up here. I don't know what that is. Eight talent points. Oh, it's so winding. <sighs> How much should I care? Well, this doesn't even connect either. We gotta go this way to get to that. sure what's down here. Hmm. It's a damage in there. We'll just start exploring. I'm gonna stim pack immediately. If I get the charge back, I get the charge back. 
Yes, that increases my uh, my actual attack damage. Oh my god, I got it back. Yeah. That's another really interesting way to use it, because normally you'd be like, oh, you're one-shotting. Why would you care about even getting more at this point? Okay, I actually need to do this. And the answer is because my piercing damage doesn't one-shot, because it does half as much. So if I might want to, you know, go a little bit more aggro, go a little bit more ham, we are benefited in our piercing. Okay. I think that some of the landmines are so close to each other that multiple are going off at the same time. The waves are, are the uh, the rows are just too short above and below you to put down landmines. You put it down there, they're probably gonna like a bat comes out, they step on it before you could even aim at them. Additional enemy enemies are and enemies spawn more frequently. Okay, attack speed sounds great. This is a dead stop there. Okay. Energy collector, yes. Landing a crit reduces the cooldown of a random ability by a second. Okay. Yes. Absolutely incredible. Okay. We want this. We want that. The fact that we use an ability, we generate crit. It's so good. So the frost trap does uh, a little bit of damage and it's slow. I'll get my damage up. Look at all these stinking traps, man. It's so good. Very excited to get even more batteries. I know I could use my abilities, to be clear. It seems like all but confirmed that you can't go over max at this point. And therefore using them means we won't get the other traps. Uh-oh. Okay. Use 10 charge abilities in a single night as the archer. Nine talent points. Okay. So definitely one, two, three, four. That's very important to me. I will get that. Okay. Attacks increase after using the ability. We're definitely getting critical timing first, and then we'll make our way over to another enchanted weapon. And hopefully we'll, we're going to be like, we just doubled the amount of battery drops. We should be able to hopefully spam some stuff. That's that's the dream. That will be the dream. Should I put some stuff up in... Okay, you know, we're actually going to use the ability there. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll use a couple of our abilities. I'll put a lane mine up top. Protect. Protect at all costs. Yeah, that ability goes nuts. Definitely hate the the little flies. Oop. When we get towards the end of the wave, I feel like we probably can start spamming our abilities more. Kind of want to wait. At least until then. All right. Elites have an increased chance of appearing. They spawn more frequently. We got 11 talent points. One, two, three, four there for sure. We'll get more crit, more attack speed after abilities. And now, as far as what we want next, I don't fully know. I kind of want to put a point in attack speed for scouting purposes. Chance to drop gumballs, increasing your attack speed. Sure. Going for a heal is not a dumb idea. We're on night 19. Alright. Put down those. 
We could probably start letting them uh, break our minds. And thus using some extra abilities. Oh, we might have to. I think we're. I think we should do it. But look how many uh, ability charges we're getting at this point. This is nuts. I'm spamming. Okay, this, this is dumb. I love it. I've created a monster. Yeah, okay. I was worried this wasn't going to feel that different than my other uh, archer run, but this is very different than my other archer run right now. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. 11 town points. Enemies spawn more frequently contain, uh, and they contain additional enemies. That's good. We do like that. Gumball collector. I could maybe get it. Oh. We should have grabbed that a while ago. Chance to shoot another arrow in the same direction. I think it was because I was trying to make sure I uh, was making a distinct build. Oh, man. Oh, man. We at least can get the Blast Quiver. Another Energy Collector! We're gonna go down to one speed. This should be the, uh, the grand finale. Every time, man. Every time. Alright. We definitely don't care about the future. Kind of nice. Now we can put some landmines up and up and down. Doesn't really matter. Every time we press three, we gain an extra damage for the whole freaking wave. Or two extra damage for the whole freaking wave. It's stupid to the point where we maybe should just like only be doing that. Let's just fire up and down for a sec. I want to see these ding-dongs work their way through the mines. To be clear, I am killing stuff above and below. It's just off screen. I'm not trying to shoot too much to the sides there. I'm just trying to put down more traps. We're on one time speed again, to be clear. All right. That's how long that lasts. That's hilarious. That's with us completely not even shooting at them. Unhinged. Come here. Alright. Silly. I didn't think we almost died on that one. That's crazy. Uh, new talent gain. We can either start with an extra 5% crit chance or start with an extra 0.2 range. Cool. We get choose a talent package that'll appear. Uh, more powerful bounties that activate more often. More loot that drops more often. Let's try that out. Like a greed angle. Mastery level 3 is unlocked. I don't think that that's going to be the new character. 
No. I might do a run off camera to uh, to unlock the next one. Because th let me double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le three. So we have to beat. We have to beat this, and then we have to beat that, and then beat that. Or okay. So one, and then we have to do one, two, the next one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I mean, it makes sense, to, to be clear. It's not, like, a, a too slow of a pace, logically, in my opinion, because then you could just be like, okay, well, the logical thing to do is, like, okay, well, then we're supposed to go in and we're going to use our upgraded wizard. That's the theoretical idea to unlock the next class. We go boom, boom, unlock the wizard. You win one with the wizard. You win one with you, and then you win one with the updated wizard. And then, theoretically, you run through this character probably a couple times. Yeah, I don't know. It makes sense, but yeah, I might do something off-camera to uh, make sure that this stays fresh. Uh, and, you know, the runs will feel even more different from each other, because I'll have a couple more things unlocked. But we'll see. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today for Talented. It's only two bucks on Steam. Pick it up if you're interested. I think it's a really, really neat game. And uh, there's a lot of stuff planned. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Thank you, thank you, though, and I will see you next time. Bye.